Joining us now is Dr. Beverly Chen. She's a vascular surgeon at Oakville Vascular. And today we are going to continue our chat about varicose veins and chronic venous disease, a condition that occurs due to poor blood circulation in the veins. Now, as we mentioned last time, Dr. Chen, yeah. this disease is often perceived as a normal part of aging or an ascetic issue. But in actual fact, it is a medical condition. So welcome back to what she said, first of all. Thanks for having me. So varicose veins can be a sign of chronic venous disease. How do symptoms go beyond the aesthetic concern? So in terms of from symptoms, patients come to my clinic and they complain about pain in their legs. Uh, they can get itchiness. They can get heaviness. I've had some patients describe what they feel like ants crawling in their legs um, or they get restless legs at night, night cramps. Um, so a lot of different symptoms in legs that That's can be attributed to, to chronic venous disease. I've had a couple of cramps in the legs lately, yeah. but somebody said maybe it's a potassium Deficiencies. Is it something that like that may not be? It could be some because I do have those little spider veins going yeah, on down there. It's so common. So it could be. So you should um, probably get checked out. Checked out. Definitely. Well, so, <laughs> while you're here. No. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> give us a quick refresher for anybody who doesn't quite remember your yes. last talk yes. um, about varicose veins. So varicose veins are abnormal dilation of blood vessels in patients in legs. And it's because of there's these valves inside veins that are supposed to prevent blood from pooling downwards with gravity so that if the valves aren't closing properly, uh, the blood stays down and pool down into the legs and they stretches out these veins to causes these large lumps or uh, like worms or veins that kind of protrude out mm -hmm. in the legs and things like that. So that's what's going on when the blood pools down. So yes. about 70% of Canadian women have a symptom associated with chronic venous disease. Um, is there anything we can do to prevent it? You know what? Chronic venous disease, it's so multifactorial so that if they have such a strong family history or if they're had a lot of babies, um, there are it's going to come inevitably, um, but there are some things to help lessen some of the symptoms, prevent some of the progression and things like that. So that um, in pregnant patients, I really want them to wear compression stockings, elevate their legs and walk. Um, Let's stop there. The compression yes. stockings or socks. How long are you meant to wear them for? During the day. During the day. So like yes. 12 hours would be a maximum, when they, eight hours? They can wear it for longer, but I generally recommend getting them on first thing in the morning and then taking them off when they get home from work. And that's because you're moving around more? So it's not something you, you could wear at night to be... Typically, Cozy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so typically, the compression stockings are not meant to be sleeping in. Okay. Um, just for when they're up. Because you know what? Pa when you're lying in bed, you're actually taking gravity out of the equation, right? So their legs aren't dangling over the side of the bed. They're not going to pull their the blood down into their legs. So that's why when they're lying down, mm. um, they're already circulating a little bit better. So you don't need to wear the compression. So can you share yes. an example of a patient who's been impacted and their lifestyle maybe has been impacted by chronic venous disease? Sure, for sure. It's hard to pick out just one patient, um, but I do. And it's very, very common that I have patients coming to my clinic right now um, and they want to do something for their legs um, because it's summertime. Um, so they get a lot of swelling in their legs um, that and they also have like their daughter's wedding to go to. So they have a special dress that they want to wear and they want to show their legs off. So they want to get treatment for their legs. They want to have a more definitive procedure so that they can feel a little bit more self-confident and have, you know, feel better in their legs, not so heavy. So they come to my clinic um, and there's one patient, we end up treating them with a, one of the endovenous technologies, so a laser treatment to take mm -hmm. care of her veins. Yeah, I've heard about that. Um, and then... Uh, yeah. And then with compression stockings and the supplement as but well. But if you get yeah. a treatment... Mm -hmm. um, then would you then have to have another one a year later if you still haven't sort of resolved the, the so, cause for it? <laughs> or or two years later or whenever? I mean, it doesn't... 
Yeah, so it depends on the treatment, but mm-hmm. we know that chronic venous disease, it's a chronic thing, right? So you get rid of some veins here or there. There's going to be other More veins that back. come yeah. out somewhere else. They may not need the same procedure, but they may need a little bit of maintenance with some sclerotherapy, some injections to get rid of the smaller Sclerotherapy? Vein. What's that? So sclerotherapy is, is where we inject the veins with a chemical detergent to dry the veins out. Ow! <laughs> detergent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in terms of, so initially it actually um, causes the vein to dry up and then they go away. Um, Isn't and that bad for you if you completely shut a vein off? Like, no. No. Nope. Okay, you've got so the, many of them, you it doesn't what, matter. You have thousands of veins okay. in your legs. So taking away the broken and damaged veins is actually going to make your body circulate better. Oh, okay. yeah. Now, do seasons impact? Yes. Like heat and cold? Yes. Yeah. So heat is terrible for veins because they're going to dilate the veins out. So if you've got some broken veins in your legs, they're going to even swell out even more. So oh, they lovely. Get, yeah. So summertime's tough for a lot of patients. <sighs> so what are, what are the biggest complaints that you get from patients? Biggest complaints are, is, is honestly pain. Pain in their legs. Uh, and what heaviness. Kind of pain? They feel like uncomfortable. They, I've had one patient where she, uh, she said that it was even hard to shower because of her varicose veins and the hot water heat hitting her legs and things like that were causing to have pain um, or swelling and things like that. So at the end of the day, if they didn't wear the compression stockings, they had like swollen legs mm-hmm. and they had to really prop their legs up. Now, we talked um, a little bit about uh, Venexa last time, yes. which you recommend. Um, yes. That's an over-the-counter oral treatment to relieve signs and symptoms of mild to moderate chronic venous disease. What is it about that that helps treat this so well? So Venexa is what it is. It's, um, it's, it's come from baby oranges, and it's sun-dried and ground up into a pill form. Um, there is some, so what it is, it's the bioflavonoid. So diazmin, there's a couple other bioflavonoids that has an anti-inflammatory property on veins. So by decreasing the amount of inflammation, it decreases actually um, the, the process of damaging the valves and destroying some of the, the weakness in the vein walls. So it actually increases venous tone in, in patients' legs. So even by taking Venexa uh, for two months, I have patients that come back and they say their legs are skinnier. <laughs> Let's um, go to <laughs> get, get some oranges. No, no. <laughs> but this is, there's nothing else in it. It's just, it's, is it the whole orange, the peel of the orange? It includes the peel. It includes the peel. Isn't that That's amazing? That's amazing. Mother nature uh, at her best. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what should people do if they think they could be suffering from chronic venous disease? The best thing is to see their family doctor to get an assessment because uh, I do think that Family doctors are the gateway into figuring out what's going on with their legs to make mm-hmm. sure that it is chronic venous disease. They may order an ultrasound of their legs looking at their veins. And if they think there is an issue there, then they'll send a referral to a vein specialist. Um, okay, so I, I've heard that there, that there is surgery for it as well. Is that sort of the last resort? Yeah, so there is surgery and that's OHIP covered. But it is painful for patients. So when I'm when I'm explaining to patients that if they're going to have surgery, they have to be well for about two to four weeks, and we're literally stripping the vein out. Yeah, so we're pulling it out. So my OR nurses, oh. they know that I I do a lot of vein work. So they come in, they're like, ooh, it's going to be like a worm day because they oh. feel like I'm like I like make little incisions like and I'm pimple popper. Oh. Right? You know what? I have a lot of my nurses say, you know what? This is exactly like pimple popper. Yeah, no, you should, maybe you should be videoing this and you could go viral. There you go. Out, you little veins out. And they're like, they're, cause they're abnormal. They're like little fat worms that come out. Oh my goodness. I think, I, I think I'm going to try the, uh, have you take a look at my legs today. I think I'm going with the Venexa. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? A lot of patients like going to Venexa. It's a lot easier. 
So where can people go to get more information and how do they connect with you? So in terms of going to the website, uh, Oakville Vascular is, is helpful because we have a lot of information about venous treatments. Mm-hmm. Um, the Canadian Society for Vascular Surgery, as well as the Canadian Society for Phlebology has some good information about uh, varicose veins. Say that yeah. last one again. For, uh, for Canadian for... Society for Phlebology. Phlebology. Yes. yes. Okay. These are all words I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It's great information. Thanks a lot for having me.